I have never seen someone entrap themselves this horribly. I don't want to spoil too much of it, but just a little bit of setup. This guy went to his crush's place of work to declare his love. Hijinks ensue, and then he ended up calling the police. The Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. And uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away. And... Uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know, I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know? Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there and I was in the other parking lot and I saw her get in her car and I, saw, I was like, oh shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her and she... Pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me chasing her. Do you not think chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like, I, I only went, like, a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they when they obviously don't want to? Well, I had my oh. song playing, and I wanted to, like, her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on. So right off the bat, he's going to the Cracker Barrel he used to work at to play a song that he wrote for this girl to give her the choice to be with him or not. So I'm guessing that he's been rejected multiple times before this. And then he explains he was in a different parking lot, which kind of shows some intent that like if he parked in the regular parking lot, she would have seen him and wouldn't have come out. So he made sure he couldn't be seen and then he rolls up on her and she drives away he starts to follow but oh, oh that's just normal yo girls girls want you to chase them and when he's explaining this whole girls want you to chase them thing it gets even worse so what else happened let's get on with the story um well anyways her her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life okay. and so i just want to have his name what, on file what, what did he say to you uh, i think he said he's gonna stab me like but he, he's like cussing at me. He said that, or he did say that. He said he says I'm gonna do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter. Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like that's like fun to women. Like women like that. A no, little bit of excitement. No, they don't. Well, women don't like to be chased. What about like? If I was a father, porn. I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDSM, <laughs> where women like to be have <laughs> fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well. Who knows? Most women do like having fantasies. Okay. Do you think she does? I don't know. But apparently she don't. I love how the cop is just like immediately no. Women do not like that. And the incel is stun locked from this because you can tell he exists in some sort of extremely insulated online space where people are just repeating these quotes to each other in like incel communities and red pill communities. And like, even if more than 50% of women were into those sort of fantasies, they don't just want to engage with that with literally anyone. Like, let's say I was into like or something like that. I don't just want strangers to come and piss on me. Like, nobody fucking wants that shit. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file just in case he does do anything do you, do to you me. you know his name? I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. Because fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing. is She needs to have her own free will, man. You, listen, you got to understand, listen, I'm a listen, man myself, bro, listen, and I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do... Try. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well, we're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on. I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with I'm arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you, if you, if you, if you do that on public property, I'll, 
You know, I'll leave you're, under. You're free. you're free to do whatever you want to do right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave. My man says this girl's father is trying to control her. Like, no, she went to her father because she's afraid and he rightfully threatened you. Like, what did you expect? Earlier, the cop's like, yeah, if you fuck around with this sort of shit, you're going to find out that fathers aren't going to like that sort of behavior absolutely justifiedly. Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up and I'm going to be a famous how, DJ and I'm going to be how, like... How old is she? Uh, two years older than me. 27. How much? 27. She's old enough to make her own mind. I'll speak with her. Is she working today? Uh, I think so. Do you have her phone number? Uh, I believe so. Uh, but I can't stop recording the video. Well, that's okay. I'll go buy her job. She works Cracker Bar, right? Correct. Okay, I'll speak with her and then I'll get back with you, okay? Alrighty, sounds All good. Right, good. Oh, Thank no you guys. This dude's mind is just absolutely warped. Like, oh, she didn't have the opportunity to make a choice. Bro, she drove away from you in the parking lot. That was the choice right there. I guarantee if she even liked you as a friend, she probably would have stuck around. Oh, hey, that's my buddy. Let me talk to him for a little while. But she didn't. She was afraid of you. She realized she was being stalked. So she dipped the fuck out of there and told her dad about it. Anyway, after the police leave, he walks to his car and then we get a little vlog session with him. Hello, shit. You know what? Lindsay's dad, I hope you see this fucking video. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? bad shit happens. I don't know. Something, um, the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. Something is wrong about that. I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent LGBT shit that has her right now and her father is controlling the bullshit I just don't see it I'm older than her fucking father that's how I feel right now I've lived this life I've been the greatest I've been down and I've been about I don't know where this is going but um fucking snakes man she was gonna lure me in a trap whenever I was gonna go, you know, play a song for her. It's just how it is. But uh, shout out to all my bros. I know that my dudes. You know, I'm, I'm like I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. I feel like. Uh, I almost didn't even notice this the first time, but this dude claims to have been trying to turn this girl straight, which one, is not a thing that you can do, and two, just makes us even more fucking unhinged. I'm not gonna lie, man, I do not make this comparison lightly, but when this dude says, you know what happens when women don't come to terms with themselves? Bad shit happens. That was like some serious Elliot Roger vibes, especially doing the car vlog, like, I just was teleported right to that space again. And I think this just goes to show the danger of these online echo chambers because this dude clearly just has like an online narrative built in his head. He brings up wokeness and LGBT stuff later on. Like, I don't know how that makes any sense. These cops are fucking cops in Tennessee. Like, I'm not going to pretend to know their political beliefs, but I wouldn't just go assuming that they're the woke squad. But I think somebody should be keeping tabs on this guy and just use this as a reminder to yourself to just, if you're 
you're existing in a space online, if you're existing in a space online exclusively, that is already a problem, but even more, if that space has everybody saying the same shit all of the time and there's never any conflicting opinions, there's never any questioning of these random narratives or statistics that are brought up, like, find other places to go. Introduce some other ideas into your life or you're gonna end up being completely warped and brain rotted like this dude. I've got a video on me exploring Reddit's safe space for stalkers on the top, a video of me reviewing some 15 second horror movies on the bottom, channel members on the left. Hope everybody's doing super well. Please take care of yourself and the people around you. Please, like, legitimately check in on people. Make sure everybody's doing alright. Skate on, drink some water, and I'll see you super soon. Peace out, Cub Scouts.